and you're like, did I just get played? I'm gonna throw up. And I'm like, no. I am so annoyed at myself. No, bro, I'm signing it to get you out of jail, okay? I'm gonna dream of booty cheekies. It's so good. I forgot my camera this morning and I've just been running around all morning. I got a really late start to my morning. I don't think I got out of the house until like 8.30. <laughs> so that was my morning, but clearly I needed some extra sleep and it's like a rainy dreary day. So I think that just, that was it. Um, but I went to the gym and I started a new um, program, same guy. Um, I have so much to tell you guys about, not so much to tell you guys. I have some questions to ask you guys, but anyway, went to the gym started same um, Mark Carroll but I started a program that I had done I think it was the first program I did the cool thing is you can save as programs and so I just save them um, and I redo them every once in a while so um, anyway did that ran to office max to print out a label and then uh, for a Poshmark order got my Duncan the well because Scott used the book coffee yesterday or this morning and then ran to drop off the package at postmark or post office for Poshmark. What? Going to Honolulu. I am jealous. Um, anyway, yesterday, or not yesterday, was it Friday? We had Neilani and Steve over, had some pizza, chilled out. Saturday, what do we do on Saturday? We went to Crate and Barrel to get a picture frame, which I need to finish up and send that off as a gift. And then um, also went to uh, Whole Foods. And then yesterday we went and toured this place called Midtown, the one in Palatine. Um, and I need to hear y'all's thoughts if you've ever belonged to it. There's a couple in this area. They're or opening it, or they've already opened this new one called Banaka, Banadoc, Ban whatever, Bandon. That place looks phenomenal. This Palatine one is apparently getting a big renovation, but it's basically like a country club without golf and more for tennis. So it's got a community pool, indoor, outdoor, a community. It's a private club. Um, pool, indoor, outdoor, they have classes. Um, they've got a big gym and they have a kids center. So yesterday when we did a tour, it was like an hour and a half tour was awesome. We love the guy that did the tour with us. Um, and Arlo went to the kids center and had so much fun. The minute he walked in, he saw Michelangelo. They had a life-size Michelangelo doll from the Ninja Turtles. So he was stoked. Sorry, I'm going to talk to you in all day. I have to go run and grab like bread and milk. Um, anyway, we toured that. So he hung out there. The kids center was awesome. That was my biggest thing is like, I wanted to make sure there were actually kids there. And there was probably like 30 kids in there playing, running around, having fun. And it's like, you get with your membership two hours a day of like the child center. And then, um, yeah, there's, there is reformer Pilates, but it's not included in the membership. It's actually $28 a class or something like that. So my deal at, um, <clears throat> what is it? Club Pilates is a much better deal. So I'm going to keep that. But um, anyway, it's around 300 something, 340, I want to say a month, which is high. But if you think about it, like we don't have a pool to go to. It'd be nice on the weekends if we went like at least every single weekend, um, one day of, of the week. We like get to, Scott and I get to work out separately or together, drop our off, he gets to play, and then we can meet up, have lunch in the cafe, and then go to the pool and play and chill. So we're kind of leaning towards it. Um, but just wondering if it's, uh, if it's really worth it. I don't know. I'm not like thinking the price is bad at all for what it is, but like we, I mean, I'm probably not going to use that gym daily. If I was using it daily, then heck yes, done. But export fitness is like literally a half a mile down the road from me. So it's super quick, super easy. Um, and this one's like 15 minutes away from us. So without traffic, that was like a Sunday morning thing. So I don't know. But that's really cool. You can take tennis lessons. Arlo can start tennis lessons at three. Um, but it is a year commitment. I think that's the biggest thing that's kind of holding us. Once you complete the year, you can do month to month, but it is a year commitment up front. So I don't know. It looked really awesome. Like they do massages, like they have a cafe. cafe. Um, the Banadoc, Banaka, 
I don't know what that one is. That one has like a legit restaurant. That one's just far away for us, but um, they have one in um, downtown as well. But I think it looks like a cool concept. But if you, I guess my question is, if you are familiar with that concept, do you know anything else in this area that's similar to that? Or yeah, just let me know. Because I'm kind of like, we're, we're still debating. Um, I thought it would help cut out my Club Pilates, but like I said, they have reformers there, but I'm not gonna pay 28 bucks when I got that deal for 20, you know? you know so anyway yeah it was fun we toured that yesterday and then we went and ate at city works i freaking love city works food i think it's so good I mean, it's not so good but it's good food and then um yeah i just chilled for the rest of the day so anyway recap of my weekend i'm at aldi let's go get bread and milk morning oh shoot i have no battery sorry we not get um all right happy tuesday I'm gonna try to get some work done. Um, Mr. Arlo Man is home with me, huh? Yeah. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Yeah. I don't know, watch. Um, anyway, Arlo last night when I picked him up from school. Win. Okay. Yeah. I picked him up from school, he said he had a tummy ache, and so he didn't really eat dinner, and then we were sitting on the couch and just blew it everywhere, and then blew it some more, and then, um, Went to bed and I had him lay on the floor instead of in his bed because I had a feeling he was going to do it again. Did puke in his bowl once, but then he also puked all over his blankets and everything. So then we had to give him another bath. And then he slept with mommy and daddy and puked a couple more times. Um, so yeah. But isn't it funny how like, no, but he's not making it up. But like, you know, um, how you're like, okay, we're gonna stay home from school today because you're clearly not feeling well and also we don't wanna make anyone else sick. And then the next day he's full of energy and fine and fun. You're like, did I just get played? But I guess it's just payback from like every time I would say, tell my mom I was sick and I was never sick. Okay. So, we're hanging out today, just laying low, real low, huh? And I have a, a beer shirt. A bear shirt, yeah. But he hasn't puked in like since I think midnight last night. So um, we're gonna lay low, chill out. It's kind of nice out. We might go play outside for a little while later. And I'm thinking we're gonna make some orzo chicken soup for dinner tonight because that sounds yummy. So I will need to go grab some small ingredients for that. Um, so I have to see what I have. And my finger. What? Well, you guys. Oh shoot! I need a battery. Right, hold on. Got a new battery. Um, we just got back from the store. I just passed out. I played myself with that one. <laughs> I thought he would be okay. I just had to run and grab literally like three things. We ended up getting more, of course, but we're like in the produce section. Like I have one more thing to grab. And then we were leaving. And he's like, I'm gonna throw up. And I'm like, no. So I'm like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I grab a produce bag and we run into the bathroom and I'm pretty sure they thought we were gonna be stealing. <laughs> because I took my whole basket in there because when your kid says he's gonna throw up, like that isn't a good look to be throwing up in a grocery store. So I ran really fast and um, he just spit. <laughs> so that was that. And then um, like on the way there though too, he was like, I'm gonna throw up. So I gave him a bucket and I'm like, are you sure you're okay? And he's like, yeah, I'm okay. And then we got to the store and he did that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> then he was fine on the way back, but he fell asleep in the car. But you know how kids when they look like they're about to fall asleep, you don't know if they're like sick or they're falling asleep. Um, but he was just falling asleep, so he passed out. And then um, I carried him upstairs. So. Was our little shenanigans, but I think he's gonna be okay. So I put him in his bed. But anyway, quick little Amazon haul. Grab some Ritz crackers. These were Arlo <laughs> doing. These crackers came from him. He didn't eat them before he passed out, so I'm not gonna do that. They gave him some stickers, which is so cute. Oh, this one fell off. Oh. I got some flat leaf parsley for. I'm doing a lemon orzo soup for dinner tonight. So parsley. 
Arlo with the Cheez-Its. At least they got whole grain. <laughs> um, you'd swear I wouldn't do this because he's sick, but like, he ate a really good breakfast, so I thought he was really fine. And normally when he's thrown up in the past, it's been like a night thing and then he's fine. This morning he ate two bowls of oatmeal and some banana. So I figured, okay, he's good until we got in the car. <laughs> um, but anyway, some dill for that recipe as well. So I'm so glad. I love shoes. I take off his shoes and socks when we're in the car still and he's passed out, so I don't have to do it when he's in the bed. And then he can have to I got an avocado for later this week. Um, some oregano, fresh for that recipe. Cucumber for later this week. I have tofu, so I figured I'd do tofu rice bowls. And then two lemons for that soup. I have the chicken already defrosting and I already have orzo, so I will link the recipe for that down below. But these gummies are really freaking good. So I'm gonna get some work done on my computer and hopefully Arlo takes a really nice long nap because I don't think he went to bed until like midnight and woke up around six, so he needs sleep. Okay, so I worked for like the first hour and a half and then I made lunch. I look like a troll, sorry. <laughs> Not that that helped any, but <laughs> whatever. And then I made lunch and you know when you're like, don't know how long nap's gonna be? Like after like an hour and a half went by, I was like, oh, I could really use a nap. But then I was like, he's gonna wake up and I'm gonna like be mid nap and be just like irritated. So I shouldn't do it. That was two hours ago. He's been asleep for three and a half hours. <laughs> I'm so annoyed at myself. Um, anyway. <sighs> Sucks. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm really happy he's getting his nap in though. It's like one of the major things I always do, like before he's had like a, whether he feels like he's better or not, or like he just had a rough night or whatever, I always love to keep him the next day at home if I can, which 90% of the time I can, 99% of the time I can, because he just gets a really good nap and just some relaxing time. Like yesterday at daycare, it all is starting to make sense because he had a rough day apparently. Not apparently, I had assigned two notes basically he was like can i sign that and i was like no bro i'm signing it to get you out of jail okay <laughs> like we can't be a bully <laughs> anyway um i it's all starting to make sense because he was not feeling well not that that's like an excuse to like act out but it shows you like i remember like when you would have bad days at school um, when he was younger and he was dealing with really bad ear infections and it's just kind of like a correlation because little guys don't know how to like little people in general some people in, in general not just little people struggle with figuring out like how to balance their like emotions when they're not feeling well or whatever i know but it'd probably be overtired he didn't take it out yesterday anyway um i wanted to keep him home and this is the reason why because he's been asleep for three and a half hours and he wouldn't do that at school he couldn't do that at school so um now I'm like, should I just take a nap? Because what if he sleeps for four hours? And no, I'm not waking him up. He'll still go to bed at normal time. I do not wake him up from a nap, like ever. Even though I did that in like one of my last vlogs. Terrible idea, terrible idea. But um, I don't wake him up from a nap. Um, even if he doesn't go down until like two, I won't wake him up. Mm -mm. He went down at noon today though, so. Anyway, I'm just like, I could clean the living room because it's full of toys, but I think tomorrow, honestly, you guys, we're gonna throw all our toys away. We're gonna do it because he don't play with them. He just throws them. He's not interested in them, so it's time to get rid of them. Anywho, oh, did you all see? I was at this super random, I've been terrible on TikTok. I just, it's not for me, truly. I like the connection, the long form content that this is personally just better. I don't know. I just do. I either like that or I like pictures. So it's fine. Um. Anyway, I just like randomly posted this video of Arlo in Mexico because it was the funniest thing in the entire world. Like we were on this boat going to see the um, arch or whatever and Arlo just kept staring at this like boat full of like girls that were on a bachelorette trip I would imagine because it was like one girl in white and like five or six girls in red and um he he just wouldn't stop staring at them 
I didn't notice them until he was staring at them and we looked over at them and he would like look around you wouldn't look at anything else like he was dead set on it so I was dying but I posted it on my TikTok like a long time ago and it just recently like blew up like two days ago it's got like over half a million views and um most of the comments are from men thinking it's funny whatever and then some of them are saying like I'm sexualizing my child or whatever and I'm just like no I'm not not at all um I'm not like he just probably just thought it was crazy because their butt cheeks were hanging out maybe not even like that he was I mean I, to say I was sexualizing my child is nuts but nonetheless the comments were hilarious and um i just thought the video was really cute just because of his little face and that night he normally every night wants to talk about golf and says he's gonna dream about golf and that night after that day he said i'm gonna dream of booty cheekies red and red and red and white i like booty cheekies and um yeah <laughs> Sim. So if you haven't seen the video, it's hilarious, I think. Um, but I mean, I know like when I feel like what's funny about a video like that going viral is that no one's like, they argue with each other in the comments. They don't even like talk to me like I'm a person. It's weird. Anyway, um, it made me giggle and um, I don't know. I thought it was hilarious. And yeah, it just like randomly blew up. You know that TikTok where it's like, just post the video, girl. I only had 10 views before I went to bed and when I woke up, I had 15. <laughs> it's like, truly, that video had like a thousand views, which is still really high for me, but a thousand views for like the first like two weeks. And then yesterday I checked it and it had like 3,000 and then 4,000 and now it's at like 6,000, 600,000, so. Wacky, but it's just really funny, I think so. Anyway, I should have taken a nap. And I'm really kicking myself for not doing it, but I think I'm going to start um, looking at this recipe for the soup that I'm making. My chicken's still defrosting, but I don't know. Normally, I'm not a fan of like pasta in soup, if that makes sense, because I feel like it can be like um, gross and soggy, but this girl, I love Bracciarotti's recipes, and she said this is like one of her most loved recipes and it's her um greek style lemon orzo soup so i'm gonna go ahead and make it for dinner tonight and it doesn't look like it's gonna take very long so i don't have to start <laughs> yet which is a-okay with me see what i mean how he doesn't care about the toys and just wants to play with a paper bag <laughs> anyway um let me pause my music oh. i've got my soup going so a mess over here but lots of fresh herbs in here and then I just threw my orzo in here and my chicken breast that I browned back in there with some carrots onions garlic dill thyme or dill oregano and parsley looking good now I'm gonna juice up my lemon are you feeling better yeah. <laughs> Y'all, this is so good. You get that creamy yellow color because you temper eggs. It's so good. I already tried some. Super lemony, super fresh. So good. The perfect like spring soup. All right, I have music in my ears. This is weird, but Tuesday is probably Scott Lee's favorite day of the week because it's trash day. And we're both exhausted from last night with Arlo, so I figured I will help with trash. So let's do all these recyclables. Ugh. I've enlisted Arlo's help as well. I'm gonna swing these up on potty. <sighs> Buddy, can you grab out your diaper trash pail, please? Okay. Yeah. Alright, so Mama made a big mistake and uh, forgot to put a diaper on Arlo when I brought him up for his nap, so <laughs> we had to wash the sheets. Oh, what? That's made out of? Yeah. What's it made out of? Plastic. Plastic, you're right. So it actually goes, can be recycled, careful, <laughs> can be recycled, right? Yeah. All right, let's go put it in the recycling bin. Go ahead. Ah. I don't know what the heck that is. Hello, do you think Winnie likes water in her dog food? Yeah. 
She does? Yeah. That's not true and you know it, kid.